Welcome back! In the last video I explained something about the Arduino hardware. You also have it in your, in your uh, script, in your book you should have. Uh, there is also the description about the hardware. You can even find the specifications. Yeah? So you can find the input voltage, the logic level, the maximum current by and so on. It's, you should find everything there you need. If you don't fully understand what's about all those values and so on, don't bother too much. Uh, I think we will get there yeah, once we do an exercise by exercise and so on. Should, should work. Okay. One thing, so we have the Arduino hardware. I said if we connect it here by USB to the Arduino, to the computer, uh, we can program it. Okay. So, where do we, how do we program it? We do need some software. Yeah. And this software can be downloaded from this web page www.arduino.cc. Yeah. That's the web page of Arduino. If we open it, here we are. We'll open your standard browser. That's the web page. This is how it looks like. And here under software and downloads, we're going to download the Windows installer for Windows 7 and up. I guess all of you are running Windows 7 and up. So we will use this. Currently the Arduino software is in version 1.8.13. This may change until you watch this video. However, I download now the Windows installer. Don't download that, I download the Windows installer. Here that's a web page. If you want, you can contribute, you can donate some money. Good thing. I already did so. I press just download. The download is starting and it's saving, saving the file. What am I downloading now? Well, I'm downloading a so-called IDE, an Integrated Developing uh, Environment. An IDE consists of all necessary parts which are necessary to program our Arduino. Okay. The download has finished. Yeah. I will start this now. It will ask, hey, Arduino tries uh, to, to, to do changes on your device. Do you want to let this happen? I select yes. And the Arduino install is, is coming up. Yeah. License, you can read through this license. I already read through one time, so I agree. What do you need to install? Uh, well, of course, the Arduino software. I would also recommend to install the USB driver if you want to create a start menu shortcut or a desktop shortcut and you want it to associate with the .ino files, which are the program files for the Arduino, uh, it's up to you. I simply let it as it is, yeah, as it recommended there, press next. That's also fine for me, yeah, and I install it. I will do this now in real time, that you see how long it really takes, yeah, that you're not going to worry some, at some point in time and so on. Uh, well, what's this? Uh, what I'm installing now, like I said, it's the EDE, Integrated Development Environment. Uh, it contains an editor, soft and an, an text editor, where we can write our code. Yeah? Every, every code is written in, in as text. Yeah? We are using the programming language C++ here. If you are familiar with this, it's fine. If not, you will get used to it. It's not that uh, critical. Uh, so there is this text editor. Then there is the compiler, which is going to translate uh, the text into machine language, which is understood by the Arduino. And there is the loader. And the loader can download the software from the compiler 
to the Arduino. These those three parts combined are the so-called IDE, Integrated Development Environment. This I'm downloading and installing now. Right now it's installing. Uh, takes some time, as you see. 500 folders, 560 folders. Yeah, why not? 700 folders. Uh, two less folders on this world. Uh, why not? Okay, completed. The Arduino setup is completed. Close. Nothing happens. Because we have to call it. I open the start menu. On the top you find the la latest added uh, programs. Yeah? And there is this Arduino also. If you open the Arduino program, it looks like this. One thing I'm doing right now is I increase the font size, not because my eyes are too bad, just for the video, for video purposes that we can read. So I go to the preferences here, increase the font size to 25, double, okay. Whoa, yeah, that's now we can read something. I put it here. Okay. Basically, that's that's how it looks like. Yeah. Uh, all Arduino programs they are called Sketch. This is why it's written Sketch here. That's the name. That's the name of the program. And this is the standard program. It's added at June twenty third, which is today. Sketch. Yeah. There are always two functions inside. There's one function called setup and there's one function called loop. Okay. The setup function will be executed by the Arduino if it's waking up for whatever reason. If it's powered up, if the re uh, reset button is released, if the reset pin is released from uh, pulling to ground, uh, something like this. If it first thing which is happening if an Arduino is coming to life, is it run through the setup routine. When the setup routine is finished, it will jump to the loop routine and it's do whatever is coded here. Yeah. If the loop is finished, it will start at the beginning of the loop and will never ever stop unless the battery dies or the power supply is is uh, disconnected or the reset button is pressed, it will loop, 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 loop and again 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 I think you get it. Alright? Always. Or you have a programming error somewhere and it will crash. But if nothing like this happens, it will always run the loop. So first of all setup after setup is finished, jump into loop and run loop over and over again. That is happening. Okay. Uh, when we want to, to download this to our Arduino, right now we do have two empty programs, two empty functions here. So the Arduino is doing nothing, yeah? would do nothing. Here, this is a verify button. You can press this verify button to see if you have some syntax errors or something like this inside. Then the compiler is starting to uh, translate your code, which is written here, into machine language understood by the controller, by the, by the uh, CPU of the, of the Arduino. So I simply press verify. Since there is nothing much inside, down here you have uh, Status. Yeah. Since there's nothing much inside, would be a surprise if we're causing any troubles. Troubles would be written in red language, in red letters. Uh, here it says, okay, the sketch uses 444 bytes. That's pretty much for doing nothing, right? And yeah, translate is fine. If you want to save your sketch, I will always recommend save often, save early. Yeah. 
so not that something is crashing and so on and then everything is lost blah 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 save i would recommend yeah to add a new folder uh same programs programs and then i would i would use uh and i recommend to use uh some some proper way yeah first your class maybe then your name no now i managed to write my name and then a program name yeah i call it first save then you see it's written here i would always recommend to do this yeah okay so this is this would be safe this is open this is new if you want to start a new one and this here is the so-called upload button i press now upload because i want to upload it and it says ah where is this arduino huh where do you have it where is the where is the where can i find it the arduino is communicating with the bills uh, with the cpu uh, with the cpu the arduino is communicating with the pc of course with the pc by means of a com board virtual com board the com board is added when uh the arduino is attached to the pc with uh usb so uh right now i have com5 and com6 available i know on my machine com5 and com6 uh some blue board uh, uh bluetooth com boards i will not reach my arduino here yeah so what i need to do is i need to to plug in my arduino I will do this now. Here's my Arduino. I will plug it in. It will come to life. Yeah. And actually I should have now another COM board. How do I check if this COM board thing is working or not? uh if i open the device manager the geräte manager uh, you should see the com board here under communication interfaces anschluss it's in german uh here we see our arduino uno now we have suddenly a com number seven yeah if i if i remove if i remove this Arduino again, like this, yeah. The com board is gone. If I replug it, com7 is there again. Okay, so I know com7 is my Arduino. How do I configure this here in this device? Here under tools, I can select at board which type of Arduino I'm having. I'm having an Arduino Uno, that's fine. And here on the board, I can select which, where it can find this Arduino Uno. And luckily there's even written Arduino Uno next to the COM board. So I select COM number seven and that's it. Okay, and if I press now the upload button, watch what is happening on the Arduino some LEDs are flashing, some lights are flashing and now what's happening now? nothing of course nothing because our program tells the Arduino do nothing impressive, isn't it? Yeah. however, you can see if it's working or not I will uh, show you once again if I press upload you see the lights flashing on the board on the arduino board this is indicating communication on the on the com board this is indicating something is downloaded to our arduino 
and we do not get any error message or, or something like this, so we should be fine. Congratulations. Yeah? If you are that far, congratulations. You have installed the Arduino uh, IDE. You have downloaded, you have installed uh, or used the proper COM board and you have downloaded the Arduino's first program. Even if the program is just do nothing. You're already quite far. Okay. So, good luck with this. Next thing, we'll try to program something a little bit more, more meaningful. Okay. So far, thanks for your attention. We will hear us again.